Hello everyone. Uh, in our video today, I'm going to show you uh, how uh, you can install the most used tools uh, that we are going to use in, in next videos. So the first tool that we have is uh, Anaconda. And Anaconda is a kind of uh, a collection of Python packages. So uh, if you go to there, this is the individual editions that we are going to use because there are many other editions, but this is the one that we are going to use. It is free actually. You can download it so you can pick whatever uh, your operating system. So uh, for this one, I already downloaded it and uh, the installation is quite easy. We just uh, next, I agree, next, next. And you can use this one. Uh, it is not recommended actually, but if you are adding this to your path, this means you can call Anaconda from uh, command line, CMD, or PowerShell directly without going uh, or using uh, uh, conda shell so or anaconda shell so it is quite easy once you press this one and install so it will be installed so i will not install it I'll, i'm just showing it because i already uh, have it installed on my pc so this is actually uh the first tool the second tool that we have is uh git and uh, Git is a kind of uh, version control software which makes like a backup copies of the things as long as, you, for example, you are developing some code or you are working on an application. So you, you need to keep, for example, uh, the last working uh, like version of this application before you are uh, doing any changes or you are afraid that after doing uh, any changes or messing with the code that you will not be able to return back in time. So this one will create like kind of backup. So we are also using it to uh, install or get some, uh, a copy of GitHub. So for example, if there is uh, an online repo on GitHub, you can just, you see this one, like get clone from that GitHub uh, repository. So. It is really a very useful tool and uh, an installation is actually uh, quite easy. You just press uh, next. There are actually uh, a lot of options and uh, these options actually, they, they have like uh, a lot of many other options inside. So mostly we, we don't need all these options. We just press next for now so it is mostly the default is fine for our use and that's it so uh, these are the two tools that we are going to use mainly so if you installed anaconda successfully you should be able to uh, search for uh, anaconda you will find like anaconda navigator like this one and uh, opening Anaconda Navigator will show you actually uh, a lot of tools. Uh, some of them, they are installed and some of them are not. But uh, this is actually normal. It's just uh, trying to open it. So uh, the most also tools that we are going to use in our videos, which is uh, Jupyter Lab, and Jupyter Lab actually is a kind of an updated version of Jupyter Notebook. So, if you don't know uh, what is Jupyter Notebook, this one, this is the old actually version that people used uh, mostly in the past. But nowadays, we are using Jupyter Lab because it's uh, it is like uh, an update. For Jupyter Notebook, so if you press launch here, it will be uh, launched. It will start like this, 
It is uh, a simple uh, interface for development and especially for people uh, they are in data science field. So when you start a notebook, it is a kind of like uh, uh, an interface. Like you can consider this like a code. So when you run this one, it is a normal uh, coding IDE. So the, if, if it work, it actually just means uh, you you have installed it uh, correctly. If it is, if it is not uh, if it doesn't work, like if not working properly, you can uh, find the solution online, search for the problem. And uh, I believe it is easy and mostly uh, no problems are going uh, to appear. I hope so. So thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye uh, on the next videos because we are going to uh, dive deeper in uh, data science. And uh, despite the fact that data science has a lot of uh, things and a lot of parts from other fields but uh the purpose for this uh, uh, channel actually is to simplify things as much as possible and make them really quite simple and um, like divided in parts and after uh, explaining the parts there will be like uh, projects small to big projects so i hope to see you there thanks for watching